system so I press log on and I give in my user ID I'm user 16 here and I see this initial screen now this screen looks pretty much like any other SAP system screen uh, here to go to the BW workbench I use transaction RSA 1 which is already under my favorite so I double click on this and this is what the data warehousing workbench looks like so if you look at the modeling area which is uh, what we are currently in you can see that there are various tabs for creating and dealing with info sources info objects data sources and so on and so forth if you go to the administration tab you see that here you can create process chains for example you can do change runs you can analyze authorizations you can do some remodeling repartitioning and so on and so forth and you have some other areas like transport connection BI content translation and metadata repository so in this session we are going to focus on the modeling area and we're going to look at how different objects are created and modified and used in an actual BW project let us now go to the workbench again under modeling and try to create an info object before we actually do that what exactly is an info object in SAP BW info objects are the smallest available information module or field and they can be uniquely identified by their technical name essentially there are different types of info objects characteristics for example customers or a customer name and key figures for example revenue there are also unit info objects for example currency or amount unit there are time characteristics for example the fiscal year and there are technical characteristics for example an internal request number a load number and so on okay let us now create an info object before we actually do that we have to create a so-called info area an info area is essentially a kind of a folder that holds within it all the different kind of info objects enabling um, you to find your info objects easily so we right click and then we get this box wherein we can create our info area so let's call it group 16 and we'll just give it the same description so group 16 has been created we need to go down a little bit and see that group 16 is the last one now we right click and create an info object catalog let's call this one group 16 as well so that it's easy to find it later on we can use the copy from functionality in case we are maintaining tens of um, info object catalogs is easier to just copy them from a template info object type we are going to create a characteristic so this one is pre-selected and then we just press the create button there we have this is what the catalog looks like at the moment there isn't any characteristic in this catalog so this is empty 
and we need to activate this so let me show you the activation and we get the system message down here that group 16 object has been successfully activated now we go back and you can see that under the group 16 info area we have the group 16 catalog now if I right click here it says create info object and this is where I create my characteristic info object so let me call this uh, as cost center CC 16 description being cost center 16 and I can use a reference characteristic or a template if I want to pre-populate the the features of this but I will not do that now because I want to populate and look at all the features separately so as you can see here there are different tabs the system wants me to first put in the data type and there are different options so characteristic numeric date time these are the different types of characteristic info objects that are available so I'll simply use a string with length 4 because my cost center is only 4 digits and then if I look at the business explorer tab when I display this characteristic in my reporting either in Excel or on the web this tab business explorer tab is what helps me decide what I see so do I see the short description or the long description are there any selection restrictions do I display test text or key or both text and key and so on and so forth is this relevant for authorization for HR related data for example you might want to make it authorization relevant the next tab is master data texts and various pieces of information we will not go through all the details now whether this cost center is part of a, a hierarchy typically in an implementation cost centers are created uh, as a hierarchy so that you can roll them up or roll them down and see at a company level what's the cost split up at a group level what is it at a branch level and so on does this characteristic have any attributes so let's put in some standard attributes zero comp code zero business area now this is the time dependent field usually the attributes are time dependent because in a group situation where you have multiple company codes or business areas a cost center can be moved from one to the other this is the compounding screen compounding is essentially the process of combining a characteristic info object with another one to ensure that the current characteristic uh, has a unique value to give an example uh, for example in materials management uh, your characteristic is storage location now we know that storage location without a plant does not make sense for example storage location A for a refinery plant is a huge storage tank and storage location A for a frozen food manufacturing plant is a freezer so how do you know which storage location are you talking about because both are storage location A 
so that's when we use compounding in our case now we don't need it so we'll just drop it for now so now we've covered all the tabs we can save and we need to now activate so when you activate you can see the system doing various things and in the end you get the message that the info object has been activated so we now go back and we see that under our info area group 16 under our catalog group 16 we have a cost center characteristic 16 and if you double click on that here are the details that we entered a while let us now look at how to create uh, key figures before we start we need to make a catalog under our info area to group all the key figures that we might want to create so create catalog let's call this catalog group 10 key figures and the type is a key figure and I press create and this is my catalog under this there is no key figure so this folder is empty which is fine because we haven't created any so far and now I activate the catalog and I go back now I right click again create info object and my key figure is say amount 10 which is group 10 amount I do not wish to use any template or a reference press enter the first thing I need to do is to define the type or unit for the key figure amount quantity or number you can choose between the data types decimal number and floating point number for the date and time key figure types you can use an amount field or a date field stored as a characteristic if you choose key figure amount or quantity you must assign a currency or a measuring unit to it for key figure type quantity let's go to quantity you can choose between a fixed quantity unit such as kg or a variable unit such as the standard BW content unit of zero unit when we say the currency or unit is variable that means we are assigning a field to hold whatever currency a specific transaction is in so for example if you have a co company in, in, in one country selling across the world in different currencies this key figure would have the values of the sales in different currencies depending on where where the goods are sold so in our case let's choose amount and currency can be zero currency which is the standard one to use and now let's move on to the next tab which is aggregation aggregation essentially guarantees that key figures are evaluated meaningfully while running reports and that they can be summarized using the different characteristics and their values within reporting in the aggregation field you specify the function maximum minimum or sum and this is what determines the way in which key figures are aggregated under exception aggregation you have various other options last value first value maximum minimum 
and these determine the way in which the key figure is aggregated using a reference characteristic for exception aggregation while reporting and this is the reference characteristic for exception aggregation to give you an example if you wanted the key figure to represent the number of employees and the employees are assigned to a cost center in that case you would use the characteristic cost center to do the exception aggregation for the number of employees that you want to calculate a non cumulative value is essentially a non aggregating key figure examples include things like headcount account balance or material inventory these key figures are non cumulative in respect to time for example you cannot add inventory for this month and the inventory for next month to get the total inventory now to deal with these kind of situations one option is for example uh, to load the inventory balance every night and another more powerful example could be to create two key figures say inventory movements and inventory adds and inventory subtracts so these would track the delta changes in the inventory uh, figures every night and would add or subtract from the original inventory and the inflow and outflow of the inventory example so in this case for amount we are just going to use a standard cumulative value now we go to additional properties tab this tab page is primarily used to change default settings for the display type in reporting again so number of decimal places I want 2 display I want in 10 and the short description is fine so these are all the settings I need to do for my key figures the type and the unit the aggregation and the additional properties and then I hit save and then I activate so I get a message that all info objects are activated and I hit the back button so here it is my info area with my key figure catalog and a key figure and a characteristic catalog and a characteristic so hope you enjoyed this session we'll see you again soon